Hey guys, R2 Boy here, and today, oh wait, there's something wrong with it. I need to take that out of here. Oh yeah, here it is. Now, today we're going to be doing, rather not a review, but more of a, more of a warning and many, if I say, an awareness here. So, I actually kind of bought this for my favorite mask, the M53. I gotta say, yeah, I like this guy a lot, but there are some problems. Like, the top piece is, doesn't have any way you should perform have this on. Just really weird. Yeah. But, um, now, I bought this just for that mask alone. But, uh, now, it does, now, it actually does scream something very suspicious over it. The material of it, which, it comes in this bag, or this well, bag for this, and uh, between the real deal, and yes, I'm actually comparing it to it, this is what the real thing has. Yep, this is for the green tint and lasers, laser protectors on there. So, when I actually tried on the mask for, for any reason, just to try out the if it works, and let me tell you, there was, there is a photo... On the same seller page on eBay, which it does show the real M50, perfectly fits well with this. Uh, here's a problem here. It fits perfect, well, a little weird out there. And then you got this here. It doesn't fit well. And until I just noticing, and yes, this is right. Now, I... I know that they're saying, like, they can fit with things like the M50, which, that's another mask I own, C50, PC50, M53, which, that's right there, and the M54, you know, all variants of the 50 series and 54s. Well, guess what? It had the same, same problem, just like, uh, the M53 does. So... It just turns out that I must have bought a must have bought a fake or airsoft variant, which I think it's mostly I think it is strictly for the airsoft variant. And then let's go compare the real deal. Now the green variant, it will have a little stamp. It correct that right there. It has a stamp, it has uh, some engravings on there. There's a B2. You can see that right there. A little correct in and up, up. And then you have another production stamp engraved on there. This one has a... Th yes, this thing has a production stamp right on there. That is the real thing. And then you got... Sometimes nothing on on that side. Yeah, that's that's where you basically know this is the real thing. Meanwhile, the fake one, else the fake one has, um, we guessed it, nothing on there. Nothing on there, which, and nothing on there. Yeah, kind of a really bizarre case out of it. And also another compared, very good one is this one's much longer than the real one. You know, well, the fake one has a very short end. That's meant to fit on the mask. But everything else is identical except for, you guessed it, the stamps and the productions and even the very clear obvious that it is longer. So, I've got to say it here. Don't buy the fake ones. I found, uh, I've, I paid this for $35, which I think I know that you get for what you paid for. But I think, uh, now if I got the re, if I get the real one, I'm going to do a comparison between them two. But this is just more likely as of just do your research and check the, check about these long pieces or this long clip to hold the actual M50 series versus the fake ones. Yeah. 
This is not a witch hunt or anything. It's just uh, more likely is just be careful for all people who who buys who buys this stuff and actually paying money for your entire M50s or your three or M54s. So yeah, yeah, I know it's a very short video, but this is a very much clear message out there. So, what's your thoughts? Now, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. I'm Artillo Boy, and I'm signing out.